Hey everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel, Lifestyle is Key. I'm your host, Jamila Damiani, and I'll be bringing you the South Jersey and Philadelphia region to your fingertips. Now today, we're going to be visiting New Jersey's largest city, Vineland. Dominic Anderson and Nation One Mortgage. They say yes when others tell you no. Get to the table quick and enjoy a smooth, stress-free transaction. Their team will help you achieve your goal of new home ownership. Now let's start with a few super relevant facts about Vineland, New Jersey. As of 2021, Vineland has a population of 61,156 residents. It's located near Newfield to the north, Millville to the south, Deerfield to the west, and Hamilton to the east. In proximity to Philadelphia, it is 59 minutes traveling via NJ55 South, if you're traveling to Atlantic City, expect to travel 55 minutes via Atlantic City Expressway and to Cape May, expect to travel 60 minutes via the Garden State Parkway. And if you're in the mood and looking to visit New York City, expect to travel two hours and 25 minutes and visiting the museums in Washington, D.C., travel time is three hours and eight minutes. And according to the National Association of Realtors, Violin, New Jersey's median home listing price is $249,000 to $262,000. Now let's go chat with Rob, who is a longtime South Jersey resident, a small business owner, and an active community member of Violin, and learn about some of his experiences while living here. Uh, my name is Robert Scarpa. I'm a retired fire captain for the city of Violin. I'm a lifelong Violin resident and currently serve as the business development director for Main Street Vineland, and recently co-owner of Serene Custard and Mini Golf here in Vineland. The home my girlfriend and I currently call home is situated in one of the nicest neighborhoods here in Vineland. It's an old, established neighborhood that was created back in the early 50s. Uh, it used to be known as Millionaire's Row. It certainly isn't that right now, but we still have very wide streets, tree-lined streets, People still take care of their grass and decorate their homes for the holidays. And that's just not in this neighborhood here. That's throughout the entire city. Our city is large, 65 square miles, um, a lot of agriculture. But again, it's made up of a lot of nice, stable, long-term neighborhoods. And this house, a very classic 1950s house, built, well-built, um, it's just one example of the types of homes and neighborhood that Vineland offers. Our first year at Serene has been fantastic. Uh, the community responded well to the renovations that we've done to the building. It has brought new life back to that corner at Boulevard and Garden. Um, we look forward to adding even more things for people to do here in Vineland. I've been blessed to have been born and raised in Vineland, New Jersey. Um, I'm a third generation uh, American. My grandparents settled here in Vineland. Uh, and I continue to live in Vineland. I raised my son in Vineland and have no plans on leaving. Residents of Vineland certainly are in a prime location for things to do. The Landis Theater is one of the landmarks that you'll see right here in the downtown Vineland area. Now let's go check out the app and see what else they have to offer. Vineland boasts of many parks and wildlife areas to explore, but also has a Main Street small business district they call the Avenue that offers everything from shopping to a calendar of events that residents and visitors alike can enjoy. If you're in the mood for a day or night trip, make sure you come check out the Avenue and see what's in store for you. Now let's go learn a little bit of history about Vineland. Vineland, New Jersey is certainly rich with history and fun facts, starting with this one. Did you know New Jersey's only drive-in theater is located right here in Vineland? The first patented drive-in was opened on June 6, 1933 by Richard Hollingshed in New Jersey. 
The success of the drive-ins caused more and more to appear in every state in the country and spread internationally as well. The drive-in in Vineland, named the Delcy Drive-In, was built in 1949. It closed in 1987, then reopened again in 2004. Its location makes it easy for families from Atlantic City, Philadelphia, and Delaware to get to in less than an hour. Today, it is said that there are less than 400 drive-ins remaining in the country. Make sure you take a trip, come to the Delcy Drive-In, and not only experience a fun night, but a legacy that continues on today. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel, Lifestyle is Key. Don't you forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And next up, we're going to Philly. If you're looking to learn about what Vineland has to offer before relocating, please visit these few links provided for you in the description below. Until next time, ci vediamo presto. That means talk to you soon. Ciao.